Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Bears Wines and Spirits review on a gorgeous Friday night. No work tomorrow, although actually I've got some work tomorrow. Welcome to old bloke's garden, but I actually enjoy doing that. I love gardening, but um, just not on where I'm working at the moment, but hey Um So we're doing another Christmas beer. Crappy Christmas from the Direct Beers. This one is called Miserable Scrooge. It's a dark bitter, 4.6. So four point yeah four point six percent. These people um, they do the market circuit, and uh, I normally pick these beers up at, near Christmas from the Cake International Show in Birmingham's NEC. But I would presume they go up and down the country. And if you go on directbeers.com, you can buy the beers directly from them. They were four pound twenty a bottle. Or three, or four pound fifty, or three for twelve quid. So, bit pricey, if I'm being honest. So, dark um, chestnutty colour, near black. Certainly near black. It's like a dark brown colour. White head. Let's see what it tastes like. Never had this before, so it's all new to me. Oh, hoppy, hoppy taste to it. Slightly, slightly um, mild hoppy taste. Very smooth on the mouth feel. I wasn't expecting much from this, but. Ooh. It's like a pleasant citra taste to it. Very pleasant, very smooth. It's not an in your face hops, it's a smooth, uh, toe in the waters um, hoppy beer. Not what I was expecting at all. And uh, gotta say, it's really nice. Now these beers that they sell, they're all, you know, they can be offensive. There's like Big Knob, uh, Big Cock, Piss Head and all sorts of beers like that. So good beers to buy as a present really. Um, while I was there, they also, in the beer room, back in the shed, I've got um, coasters, little coasters with all of them on. And uh, yeah, they're quite offensive. So, you know, if someone's a bit uh, too you know, doesn't like that sort of thing because there's a lot of people out there that are real snowflakes these days. Um, they may not like it, but for most people who don't mind a little bit of banter, perfectly acceptable, you know, someone buying beers, for, I mean like this one, Miserable Scrooge. And uh, yeah, but the beer itself, you know, name means nothing really does it to the beer as long as the beer tastes good that's all that matters and this beer does taste good and i've got to say that all the beers from directbeers.com have tasted rather nice they do a full range from lagers to porters to stouts and everything in between so interesting so I was going to decorate the front room this week, but we've had a week where we thought, oh, stuff it, we're not doing nothing. We'll come home at night, chill out, Saturday, watch films, do nothing. But soon we're going to have to get off our backsides and get it done. It's that time of the year. Um, I'm hoping soon, well, hopefully soon, the, the obviously we're in dry January, aren't we? Which I ain't staying dry for no one. It's funny, but I don't like being told what to do, especially if I think it's rubbish. So when my old workplace brought in um, drink and drug test, I'm like, who, the, who are you to tell me? You know, I know where the limits are. I'm not being told by you. Uh, 
and it and it, it did the reverse to me. It made me drink more. So I'm, I'm thinking, oh, fuck it, I'll, I'll drink what I like. And uh, and obviously, some I've mean, never touched drugs in my life. So um, some people got caught for for drugs. That's their own fault, you know. You shouldn't do it. Uh, drink gets out of your blood system a lot quicker than drugs. And uh, yeah. And obviously if you're foolish enough to do that sort of thing then it's not good on yourself. But uh, I find myself being a bit of a rebel, I can't be done with them sort of things. And uh, this workplace where I am at the moment, I'm, I'm getting to the same where I'm just like, oh, you know what, I can't leave. And that's why I'm, I'm, I've already made the mind up to leave, I'm thinking, eh, stuff you. You're not telling me what to do, I'm, I'm, I'm far too old for that rubbish. And uh, I don't mind towing the line and doing me as long as my work's done, but I'm not being dictated to. And hopefully soon I'll have a new job. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And hopefully soon we'll start seeing new beers for the year. Um, I need to go to Tesco's. Tesco's have got quite a few beers, although all. Around the three pound mark, so not the cheapest of beers. Uh, amazing how they don't put any deals on them beers. It's all craft beers as well, you know, all in cans. And uh, it seems to be the standard thing now to put stuff in cans and charge a good price for it. Morrison's saying that. Morrison's have actually got quite a few beers in cans, and they're all on a, either a two for four or a three for six, which is okay. You know, it's a better deal than what's being offered at the likes of Tesco's. And we're not even talking about Sainsbury's these days because they've just gone downhill. And uh, even though I love Sainsbury's work in there, I've got a lot of good mates who still work there. Um, yeah, their beer range is shocking. Shocking what they've done to it. So I am loving this. This is obviously it's a miserable scrooge, it's Christmas beer, but this is a beer I could wallop multiple bottles of. Um it's going down a tree. Uh the strength is yeah, 4.6%. Taste about that, it's got a lovely citra taste to it, but it's not trying to be a hoppy beer. It's trying to be hoppy, um, pleasant, smooth tasting. It's like John John uh, John Smith's extra smooth, but with hops in. And uh, yeah, it's really unique and bloody tasty as well. I can't fault it. Absolutely gorgeous. And I've got a Chinese coming in about the next half an hour, so it'll go down well with a bit of Chinese. I mean, it's not it's not totally clear, but that doesn't bother me. I don't, you know, I'm a home brewer. None of my beers are totally clear. But that is lovely. So, as you can see, um, what was, should we say? Dark brown beer, white head, uh, a little bit of citra on the taste. Citra very smooth, citron on, on the nose and the taste, very smooth and uh, yeah a cross between John Smith's extra smooth and Punk IPA because that's I'm sure that's got citra in, it may not have but yeah definitely citra I can taste and uh, overall bloody delightful, really nice um, and I love beers that you try them for the first time and uh, you're not expecting much. And these are the beers that surprise you the most. And they're the beers that you say that really challenge you. And um, that was lovely. Very, very enjoyable. So, out of five, um, I'm going to give it about a 4.5 out of five. That was really nice. Not the cheapest of beers. So, if you do fancy the look of this or you love these you know where it's taking the mickey that and the, the with some of the names uh, directbears.com
And if anybody from directbeers.com is watching and you get any sales from this, I'll test your new beers. I'm a, I'll have to review. I bet they're thinking, who's that dickhead? Alright, thanks for watching. See you soon.